So the point is... You're just, I, a, you're just a Chinese stooge then. You just do what they want. <laughs> oh, wow. Don't sit on the fence, Chris Bryant. Just tell us what you really think about our foreign secretary, James Cleverly. <laughs> <laughs> well, hello there, and I do hope you're all well. And let's just say, James Cleverly, MP for Braintree, was given quite a difficult time in Monday's select committee meeting about the news and politics from home and abroad, I sort of speak on a wide range of subjects. Well, as you can see, Chris Bryant wanted to talk about the actions about the Chinese ambassador who's banned from entering the House of Commons, if I remember rightly, and it was just asking, why are you going to Beijing? And it soon descended into a bit of a piling from Neil Coyle, Graham Stringer, and last but not least, the chair, Alicia Cairns, tearing a Chinese stooge a new one. Very quickly for me, um, the Chinese, am Chinese ambassador, as I'm sure you're aware, is banned from Parliament but you're going to Beijing. How does that match? Sorry, the Chinese... Yeah, so I don't see how they're connected. Well, he's the ambassador for China. That's right. And he's banned from Parliament. Yes. By Parliament, which you, which you agree with? Uh, yes. Uh, well, ultimately, I agree. It's, it's, it's the Speaker's decision, and the Speaker's made a decision on that, and I completely so, respect that. And you agree with it? I respect that decision. Why do you think it's the right thing to do if you think it's the right thing at the same time to go to Beijing? Well, again, so I'm not the Chinese ambassador. I'm not going to our parliament. I mean, you're comparing two different things. I am doing what foreign secretaries should do, which is engage uh, internationally. There is a very good reason that Mr. Speaker has banned the Chinese ambassador from Parliament because the Chinese state has sanctioned uh, parliamentarians, uh, I think some people on this committee and others, uh, something I, I am completely opposed to, and I have raised the UK's position and my own feelings upon this in every single uh, meeting and interaction I have had with representatives of the uh, Chinese uh, government. So I completely respect and agree with the Speaker's decision on that because of China's action against British parliamentarians. But that is fundamentally different to my duty as the Foreign Secretary to make sure I seek to influence, because that is my job. Why don't you take, including seeking to influence uh, the Chinese government. Why don't you take Tom Chugendat with you, for instance? Uh, because he's sanctioned. So basically, China calls the tune. No. With, with, with James Cleverly, China plays the tune and you dance. Uh, no, not at all. I, mean, the, I, this is, I, wanna, I, I really want to nail this down. The idea that a foreign secretary interacting with another government is anything other than my duty and responsibility is nonsense. This is literally my job. This means I agree with them, and indeed, I have highlighted the sanctioning of British parliamentarians in every single interaction. Well, why not I have say had you want to take Tom Chugendat with you? Because, because I, I mean, it's not my job to take other ministers with me, and my job is to change and influence the Chinese uh, government. You've never that taken is, another minister with you, and that is, uh, no, I don't typically take ministers with me on 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 on, on, on the national <laughs> meetings now. So the point is... You're just, I, a, you're just a Chinese stooge, then. You just do what they want. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> My God. <laughs> Don't mention words. <laughs> now, uh, stop here, because I want to ask... Somebody. I'm just trying to work out if our foreign secretary is just plain dumb, or is he really this dumb? I just honestly don't know. But if I had a did a guess, I would say it's an act because when someone talked about anything from Russian money sloshing around in the party or Tory party donors who are trade, still trading in Russia, he would pull that face and say, what are you implying? Or if you've got something to say, just say it. To which the reply usually is, I think I already just did foreign secretary. So for me... If I had to hazard a guess, I think it's an act. But what do you guys think? Do you want to give any evidence to that? Yes. Go on. Well, I, I think I presented it to you. Oh, well, it's I don't pretty think straightforward. You You've I said think, I don't because think China has sanctioned some MPs, you're, you wouldn't be prepared to take them. I don't take ministers on visits with me. And that's not. I think I, you know how shoddy your answer is. No, I think, I think you have got a nice headline that you wanted to deploy and you've got no evidence to back it up.
The fact is, it's the job of the Foreign Secretary to engage with foreign governments, including governments that we disagree with. And we do so to highlight the areas that we disagree, which I have done, whether it be on Xinjiang, Hong Kong, or the sanctioning of our parliamentarians. I've raised this issue on every single meeting and conversation that I have had with representatives of the Chinese government and will, and will continue to do so. So basically, unless you can give evidence to back up your assertion, I would request politely that you withdraw it because it is not just inaccurate, it is also, I think, really quite uh, um, discourteous. You had the chance when you came to the Select Committee previously to tell us what you would do about the actions of the Chinese representatives in Manchester. You chose to do nothing. No, that's not true. What did you do? What we did was we made it very clear to the Chinese authorities that the behaviour of those officials was unacceptable and those officials were withdrawn from so uh, the UK. So you're telling us that, that it was because of your intervention that that, that that official was recalled to China? I believe so, yeah. And there was no point at which, that's not something you've said previously, I don't think, but there was no point at which you thought that the police should have been involved given the violence against some of the protesters. You didn't think it should be followed as a matter of criminal law here. You gave the Chinese the chance the to Vienna take someone the, out the, 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 Vienna, the, the Vienna Convention, the Vienna Convention, would, would mean that that course of action was never one that was available to us. Um, and, 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 and the simple fact of that is we made it absolutely clear that that behaviour was unacceptable. Forgive and, as, me, and as I say, as I say, the Chinese officials... Forgive me, though, the, this, this committee is not of the view that enough was done. They could have been declared persona non grata. That they left. Condemned, they left. No, no, forgive me, <laughs> Foreign Secretary, but that allowed I could China have done. to say no, that they I could, I could have done. Graham. It's a very weak thing. Nice quiet word in the background. It's a bit, bit naughty, uh, kicking uh, somebody very severely in Manchester. The officials left the country. Because they were demonstrating. The, the officials left the country. Yeah, but you didn't expel them. The officials you just left had the a country. nice, quiet, cosy word. The officials left the country. But the problem is they left what, the country. So what further, the so what, sorry, but what further, what further action would you, what further meaningful action do you think could have happened that didn't happen? Never ask anybody what they would have done because you might not like the reply you're going to get. Go on, hit him with the sucker punch, Graham Stringer. <laughs> the meaningful action, you could have said that your behaviour is unacceptable publicly and diplomatically expel them for this country. Yeah. That, would, be, so what that would, would have been the position with most embassy staff, I guess, yeah. if they'd committed a violent act on the street of London or Manchester, but because it was China, you took a very weak, cosy position. The officials left the country. Um, I, and, and They made that decision, not you. I'm going to draw a line on this. You're, des you're desperately secretary. trying to paint this as bad news. The point is, no British, no British officials were expelled from China in any kind of tit-for-tat response. Yeah. Um, Chinese officials uh, left the Chinese yeah. officials yeah. left the UK. Uh, I regard I regard that as effective diplomacy. Foreign Secretary, the position of this committee is, however, they should have been declared persona non grata. I, because, I agree. Forgive me. I disagree. Foreign Secretary, because of the fact that China then spun it as they had finished their terms and were solely returning home to duty, and that is the problem. And if we cannot be strong at home, and if we cannot make the case that defence is not an escalation, we will be weaker on the world stage because you cannot deter abroad if you are not strong at home. But we are going to draw a line with this. The committee has made clear that we are unified in this position. You have made Madam clear Chairman, that you are happy Madam with Chairman, outcome. Madam Chairman, the Chinese officials involved that incident left the country. None of our officials were expelled from China. I regard that as a diplomatic And win. many of them overstayed the deadline you set them, and yet there were still no repercussions for them. They, the, had no, the, had we PNG'd them, they would have had a longer to stay in the UK than they stayed in the UK. They left the UK quicker than had we PNG'd them. None of our officials were expelled from China. That was good diplomatic work. I think they handled it very well. But the reality is Parliament does not, as a whole, agree. But Saki, it's not, gonna, for me, it's not always... It now. For my actions are not always... Foreign Secretary, we're going to move on. <laughs> Sorry for laughing, but his face is a picture, isn't it? So is he saying that Conservative MP and Chair of the Foreign Affairs Select Committee was looking for a good headline or trying to paint a bad story as well, Foreign Secretary? Now, as I was watching this again, something word in my head of that. Is he trying to get a be a bit give it a soft touch because of uh, this CTPPP deal in in the pipeline? I don't know. Who knows? But 
the one thing I did know, he said this on a number of occasions, didn't he? Uh, to a number of select committee members, I'd have to say, it sounded quite weak and a bit flaky, didn't he? I also thought what Alicia Cairn said when she, was quite interesting when she said that how the, the Chinese government spun it and how Graham Stringer said he would have handled the situation. Very interesting. Now, I know they control the media very well in the, the Chinese government, don't they? And probably the public expulsion wouldn't have made it over in China. But I get the feeling it might have sent a strong message around the world and if he'd have done it in public. But I found the fact that everybody in this select committee meeting were in full agreement in this. But according to our James Cleverly, our foreign secretary, is totally in the right and this cross-party select committee are totally wrong. Now, it could be totally in the right. Who knows, especially when he talked about the Vienna Convention. But I have a feeling he isn't. Now, I looked it up to see if I could find out what he's on about. But the thing is, I'm no lawyer. But I get the feeling he isn't either. And I also got the feeling he was talking out of his backside on this. But I could be wrong. But what do you guys think? Who's in the right here? Our Foreign Secretary or the Select Committee members? Did he do the right thing when handling this situation? Behind closed doors? Or in a quite little word in, the, word in their ear? Or should he have done it publicly, saying that their behaviour was totally unacceptable and said they have to be expelled and to send a strong message and done it in public? Let me know down below and tell me what you guys think. Right, I shall leave this video here and until the next time I shall bid you farewell and take care, my friends.